All right, hello YouTube, this is Ryan. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of the factory presets that now come in ZOA 1.2. I'm really excited about them. I have a lot of fun making them, and I hope they give you an idea of just what ZOA is capable of and how I like to use ZOA. Uh, so let's open up the presets menu, which this now is included in the audio unit. So even if your host doesn't like directly show you the factory presets, you'll be able to access them in the audio unit or the standalone app. The first thing is that we have the default setting for easy recall. The standalone app now like saves settings between launches. So it's definitely useful to be able to get back to kind of a clean slate. Let's listen to this first one. I'm just gonna kind of let them play and then talk a little bit about them, kind of my, my thought process behind designing them. And um, hopefully they just give you a feel of what Zoe is useful for can be used for. So this first one's called Arpeggio Sequence. And let's just hear how it sounds. So you'll notice for this one, the auto advance is actually turned off. That means we just have kind of a static grid. And that actually allows us to play these kind of repetitive arpeggios that just move up through the grid. You notice I have uh, the first voice moving up through the grid on eighth notes and the second voice doing the same thing, but it is offset by an octave. Then I just have some other notes in here. I have quarter notes playing kind of randomly throughout the available notes. And I have another kind of uh, eighth note uh, rhythm going on, playing random notes. And it creates this kind of like dense um, sonic arrangement, uh, but it still has a structure from these first two voices. So I'll just listen to that a little bit more. just the first two. Yeah, pretty nice. Let's move on to the next one, which is bubbling blues. I really, you know, I usually use like the pentatonic scales, um, but I tried to push myself to use, um, you know, some more scales that I don't usually use in these factory presets, and I had a lot of fun putting them together. So let's see how this blues scale arrangement works. So here are the first two voices are uh, offset by seven semitones and they're both playing the first or the lowest note in the grid. So we get like kind of chords or even like comping going on. The third voice is kind of supporting that. And the fourth voice is, is playing this melody here and you notice it utilizes uh, some interesting step options. So uh, we have some ties going on. Those are signified by those blue lines. We have some trig conditions going on, which are signified by the light blue circles. And we even have an accent and some anti-accents. There are like two different accents that you can use. And if you wanna use the step options, I have another video on that, but you can just press and hold and kind of access the articulation, the accents, the ratchets, the probability, and the trig condition for each step, uh, which is another cool new feature in ZOA 1.2. Let's go on to chords and melody. You can see the ties on voice four here. Again, I have, you know, kind of the first two voices creating chords. but a kind of rhythmic emphasis with voice three and a bit of a melody with voice four. So 
So really nice, let's keep going. This next one is called Dreams of Methuselah, and I'm using the whole tone scale. It's really kind of a disorienting scale, uh, but it sounds like, I don't know, it sounds like a dreamscape or a dream sequence. And this one I actually, I like a little slower tempo, so I'm just gonna bring it down a little bit. So we have a wide range here, with really low and really high notes. We've got quarter eighth dotted, quarter triplet, and eighth notes. So they're all interacting in really kind of disorienting ways. So this is a um, dream sequence. Bring the tempo back up. And uh, let's look at this next one, Happy Wanderer. Um, this one also has auto advance turned off. So we're gonna hear some like harmonic structure, some arpeggios going, uh, but we're also gonna hear a melody. This one just makes me feel good. So since these arpeggiating voices are going up through the grid, we can actually kind of have some repetitive patterns going on. And then we have the melody kind of going up and down through the notes. Let's take a look at Little Glider. These glider shapes just kind of move through the grid. It's a kind of well-known pattern in the game of life. They'll just move forever until they run into something. And since the opposite edges of the grid are connected, this glider will actually kind of move across the corner and come back the other side. This one's D minor pentatonic. So I have some uh, trig conditions going on here with this fourth voice. So these notes are only going to play some of the time, and the conditions are all different. This is second of two, this is third of three, so sometimes those are going to coincide, and sometimes they're not going to coincide. That one's pretty nice. All right, let's look at Slow Pulsar. It's another kind of shape in the game of life that will just kind of go through several states and cycle, and we'll be able to hear how it sounds. I really like this one, it's super deep. I'm using the golden notes, uh, golden half note and golden whole note. Um, which is a feature that I added to ZOA 1.1. And they're longer than sort of the standard note by a factor of the golden ratio, which is a little more than 1.6. So it makes them a little longer than dotted notes. And the nice thing is that since the golden ratio is an irrational number, the, uh, the notes will never quite like stack up on top of each other. They may play close together or far apart, but they'll never happen like right on top of each other. So it's definitely a different thing than like um, a dotted note interacting with a, a whole note or something like that. And this is an E minor pentatonic scale. So that's a nice slow moving one. Let's look at this Starry Sky preset. Um, these are little little blinkers. If you've used Zoa, you'll probably notice that they kind of end up, the grid often kind of settles into several of these blinkers. And let's hear how this one sounds. Using a golden note here along with a half triplet. And 
that one's also just kind of nice and deep and slow. And let's take a look at this last one, which is called Urgent Matters. I'm using the harmonic minor uh, scale, and I don't often use that, but I was really pleased with how this one turned out. It sounds kind of fugy to me. So we have a two bar really deep bass note going on here. Now we're hearing that bass note move. Got 16th notes, we've got some trig conditions going on there. Another pattern of 16th notes. And just kind of steady eighth notes. So that's just kind of to give you an idea of what Zoe is capable of. Those are the factory presets. Um, you can use those in the audio unit or in the standalone. You can also save your own presets that are saved between the audio unit and the standalone. And yeah, hopefully it just inspires you and gives you some ideas about what you can do with Zoa. I've heard people do really interesting things like even sequencing drums with Zoa. And I've heard some really wild stuff, uh, stuff that never even kind of crossed my mind as something that would be possible. And that's what's so exciting about like putting these things out there is that you actually get to see other people use it. So if you like Zoa, you know, share what you've made uh, and uh, feel free to leave a review. Reviews help for the long-term kind of success of the app. Subscribe to this channel. I'm gonna do more tutorials and more updates, just kind of showing you my progress um, on current project projects and new projects that hopefully will be coming uh, fairly soon. So thanks for watching and just have a good rest of your day. Hope you have fun making music.